Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to work through the upsell process. And in order to get started, we're going to go to our marketing tab on the left side menu. Then we're going to go to the upsell tab. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to click add an upsell. And then we'll need to give that upsell a name. Now what we're naming is the actual process. Okay, we can decide whether or not to enable or disable the upsell. And then we can decide whether or not this upsell is going to happen before the client actually makes their payment or afterward. Now, if you're using Skype and Bitcoin, we will not be able to use the after sale upsell feature. So we're going to leave this at before payment. Now, we can do this in a way so that the client gets an additional product or they can have a replacement product. So in other words, when they upgrade, we can make it so that they get a larger product and a larger member area, or we can give them two different member areas. It gives you an alternative. In this particular case, we're going to add in another product. Now, what we can do is we can add in this upsell for any product or one specific product. So for example, we can add in this particular upsell now the product required is the product we are offering the upsell to. So in this particular case, we can offer an upsell to Bitcoin videos. And then the product offered is the upsell. So in this particular case, we can say that our product upsell is going to be Bitcoin training. Now we can offer some offer text so that when the person sees the upsell, they will see a certain string of words into a phrase and we can use what's there or we can write something in. What we can do here is we can upload an image to go along with the video. So we can click upload image and then we can choose a file that we can place with our upsell. And then we can determine what the upsell price is going to be. We can either override the pricing and place something different or we can leave it at the product price, which case you cannot change the pricing. Once you've completed everything in your upsell, you're then going to click create. And once you've done that and you see your upsell in place, you will have the person buy your product, but then be shown another offer. And you'll see this when the client goes to check out, they'll be shown this other offer where they can get access to additional training. They can either say yes or no, and then be taken to their offer. So for example, if they say no, they'll then be taken to the regular offer where they can pay in Bitcoin. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.